Horizon Zero Dawn is a critical and commercial success, and that's a very good thing for gaming. What's up everybody, I'm Will Strickland, welcome to Glitched. The latest AAA PS4 exclusive game came out just over three weeks ago and it has lived up to the hype. Developed by Guerrilla Games, who prior to this title had only made the Killzone series, Horizon Zero Dawn is an open world, single player, story driven, action RPG. The open world aspect was a safe decision, but in an industry dominated by Call of Duty and sports games, offering no multiplayer is a risk, especially when you incorporate RPG elements. Luckily, Guerrilla knocked this one out of the park. This was surprising to a lot of people, including myself, since Guerrilla has only been making first-person shooters for the last 10 plus years. The chances of them getting their first endeavor into an open-world story-driven game were slim, but in a pleasant surprise, they did it. In the first two weeks, Horizon sold 2.6 million copies, and that's sold through, meaning that's how many copies have been purchased by customers, not by retailers. Guerrilla Managing Director Herman Hulse put out a statement alongside the release of the sales numbers. Quote, We're thrilled that Horizon Zero Dawn has been embraced by critics and players alike. Developing the game was a labor of love, so it's extremely satisfying to see that it elicits the same passion and enthusiasm from the gaming public that we felt during its development. This is only the beginning of Aloy's story and our exploration of the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, with a team already hard at work on an expansion to the story. So it sounds like a story-focused expansion will be coming fairly soon to the game, and that is something I can support 100%. On top of the incredible sales numbers, Metacritic says the game has earned an 89 out of 100 average from 109 critic reviews, and an 8.5 out of 10 from over 4,000 user reviews. Okay, this is great, but what does it mean for gaming? Well, a lot actually. Some have criticized Horizon for not necessarily offering anything new, and after being roughly 40 hours in, I'd have to agree. There's no mechanics that are groundbreaking to Horizon. They didn't revolutionize open world gaming, they didn't set the new standard for character development, but what Guerrilla did do is prove that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just polish it really, really well. There's climbing mechanics taken from Uncharted, there's outpost capturing reminiscent of Far Cry, there's dialogue trees from Mass Effect, and there's stealth modes from Assassin's Creed. But consider this, are any of those mechanics that we tend to link to a specific game unique to that game? Did Uncharted invent climbing rock faces and train cars by looking for yellowed handholds? Probably not. A longtime gamer could probably trace that mechanic back years before the PS3 ever came out. But we linked that gameplay to Uncharted because Uncharted set the current standard. Mass Effect wasn't the first to use dialogue trees. Assassin's Creed wasn't the first to implement stealth combat. But both games did it in a way that improved on the past and set the standard. Horizon Zero Dawn does the exact same thing, and I don't think that's anything to knock it for. In Horizon, the combat is never boring. The side missions always show you a new location and enemy. The hunt for collectibles offers the gamer in-game rewards and knowledge of the universe. The story keeps you guessing, keeps you entertained, but most importantly, it keeps you wanting more. This is a reminder to developers that not every game they make has to be a 10 out of 10 revolutionary masterpiece. Smart artists learn from their peers and find ways to improve upon their work. If developers just focus on the core value of gaming, which is having fun, their games would do just that. Now, I'm not saying they should never try to make a masterpiece. I would love to have more Bioshocks and The Last of Uses in the world. I'm just saying that if you pick and choose elements from games that came before and polish them, you'll wind up with 2.6 million sales of your game in 14 days. What do you guys think? Is it okay that Horizon Zero Dawn relies on mechanics from other games? Let us know in the comments down below. I may be 40 hours into the game, but apparently I'm only 50% done, so I will definitely be returning to it ASAP. If you could, go ahead and like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all your gaming and tech news. You can also check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash glitch.news. Also, heads up, we've started a brand new show called Checkpoint. It's more of a discussion-based show than this one, kind of like a gaming book club. Our pilot episode was on Horizon Zero Dawn, so if you want to check that out, just head over to either our Facebook or YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. I didn't even point out my shirt, this is from Fallout. Remember that? We got swatters here, selling swatters. Hey, look, can you see that? Swatter yeah. on the back. <laughs> I love that dude.